Too bad, he's frozen solid. A little too dedicated to his work, I guess. It looks like a bead would fit in the eel's mouth. It looks like Heimdall managed to chip the eel head free. It fits perfectly. Whoa! Look, it melted itself right out of the ice. It's a bronze coil. Let's head for the airport. This is his house? This is it. Mr. Costa? Pipe down, I'm coming. Be firm, but polite. I suppose you're selling something. If it's not a priceless artifact, I don't want it. I hear you know something about Plato's lost dialogue. Maybe so, maybe no. Who are you? I'm Indiana Jones. I'm Costa, and I'm tired of talking to you. Indiana? What kind of stupid name is that? Nice going, Indy. I could have done better. Yeah, sure. Sophia? Yes? How'd we get mixed up with this screwball? The screwball in Iceland, remember? Here, you talk to the man. My pleasure. Mr. Costa! This better be important. He's a touchy old bird. Watch and learn, Dr. Jones. Well, hello, beautiful. Professor Costa, my name is Sophia Hapgood. Madam Sophia? A renowned psychic? I hope my friend didn't pester you too much. He's a friend of yours? Well, no, he didn't pester me that much. He just has to learn to be more tactful. You said it. He's ruder than I am. How can I help you? What can you tell us about Atlantis? I can tell you this. You're standing on it. It never sank, at least not all the way. What happened to the Atlanteans? Well, they had a run of bad luck, demons and devils, and they left. However, their spirits have personally told me it was mostly bad luck. What do you mean, bad luck? Fire, flood, pestilence, the usual things. What led you to place Atlantis in the Azores? I didn't place anything, it's just the facts, ma'am. Plato's lost dialogue spelled it out in plain Greek. What's in this lost dialogue you mentioned? Why, it's the last word on Atlantis, young lady.
Have you read it? Nope. Do you have it? Nope. Do you know what's in it? Not exactly. Can you get it for me? Sorry. Do you know where we could find it? Well now, that depends. I might trade the information for a rare Atlantean artifact, such as a certain necklace I've heard about. I'll never trade away my necklace. Well then, if that's how you feel, surprise me. Would you do business with my friend here? Madam, I'll do business with anyone. Thanks for your help. Goodbye for now. At your command, madam. Don't be a stranger now. Interesting character. Trade, huh? Excuse me? Yes? I think you better take over. Okay, I'll give it a try. Mr. Costa? You again? What do you want? Let's talk about a trade. Okay, what you got? I'm offering this mysterious eel figurine. Now that looks interesting. You've got a deal, mister. Now listen carefully, I don't know exactly where to find it, but... The Lost Dialogue of Plato is in the Ashkenazi Collection. Got that? I think so. The Ashkenazi Collection. Very good. Nice doing business with you. The Ashkenazi Collection? You know something, Sophia? I believe Barnett College owns the Ashkenazi Collection. Dr. Uberman, fantastic news. Corner, at last! See what Herr Jones has kindly provided? What on earth? Isn't it amazing? You fool! You come back to show me this, this, this... prehistoric knick-knack? Herr Doctor, I believe this knick-knack, as you call it, comes from the lost city. Then we have failed! I see no evidence here of some magical metal plate called Ore Calcum! Look here, concealed in the base is this small shiny bead. And it glitters like fire! Exactly as Plato described! It's my guess we found the treasure we see. I never get. We must test. My God. We done it. The energy of uranium without any radioactivity. And those smug American scientists know nothing. That gives me an idea. All I place the bead inside the statue's open mouth. You saw that? Think of trucks powered by these beads. Think of tanks. Think of airplanes. Use your imagination, Carter! Think big like the Americans! Think of bomb! So why are you dragging me in here? Plato's lost dialogue should be here somewhere. Need some help?
Yes, please, it's scary in here. Save the sarcasm, Jones. I'll meet you in your office. It says, where have you gone, Joe DiMaggio? A fine example of braided hemp. Marcus thought Potlatch Indians carved this. Looks like a movie prop to me. The label says unidentified potsherds. The floor isn't slippery enough. It won't move. It's a greasy old towel. I don't think that'll work. It's a hole leading to the attic. Uh... Well, don't just stand there. Go find Plato's Lost Dialogue. Nothing up here but a few broken pots. Phew. Guess I should have cleaned it out. I guess it's mayonnaise, but it looks like used motor oil. Nothing useful in here. Here's a thuggy idol. I better call a glazier. It doesn't seem to open.
It's a screw. Early 20th century, I believe. Looks like beadwork from the Phoenix Collection. I don't think that'll work. I don't think that'll work. Some kind of funeral urn. I believe it's part of the old Ashkenazi collection. Looks like someone's ashes in here. Feels like there's something loose in here. A key? Marcus still thinks this chest belonged to Columbus. I don't think that'll work. I can't lift the lid. I don't think that'll work. It's a crude copy of a Persian idol. Must be made out of lead. There. It's full of air. doesn't seem to open. Looks like textiles from the Shamit collection. There's nothing of importance here. It's an old lecture hall desk, complete with a wad of gum, I'll bet. I believe it's part of the old Pierce collection.
I believe it's part of the old Ashkenazi collection. There's a manuscript inside, the lost dialogue of Plato. I got it. I found Plato's lost dialogue. Really? Our jungle friend Sternhardt is quite the scholar. Let me see. I don't see how this will help us find Atlantis. Isn't it obvious? No, it's much too vague. Our only hope is supernatural inspiration. You mean your old pal, Nurab Sal? If I can make contact, yes. Where's my spirit guide when I need him? Come on, Sophia. The answer's in the book, not outer space. So he got his dates mixed up. Why is that so important? Plato's error means distances could also be wrong. So what if they are? If Plato is right, Atlantis is in the Mediterranean. You mean 300 miles from Greece instead of 3,000? Yes, the cradle of civilization. You could be right. He once told me he came from the middle of the world. That's what Mediterranean means. Good old Nurab Sal. I'm starting to like him. Wait, quiet. I think I'm getting something. Don't push this too far, Sophia. Will you just shut up and listen to me? Among the artifacts that Kerner stole was a small stone disc with a hole in it. I'm sure it was one of the three stones mentioned in Plato's book. And I didn't find it. I bought it from Alain Trottier in Monte Carlo. Haven't we talked to enough of these nutcases? Or was it Omar Al-Jabbar in Algiers? Either way, Algiers or Monte Carlo. This much I do know. We need all three stones if we want to find Atlantis. All right, I'm ready to go. Not so fast. First, I'm going to tell your fortune. Look into my eyes. Deep into my eyes. For Pete's sake, I'm not going to hurt you. Now hold still. You are a remarkable man, Dr. Jones.
You possess great strength of character. You are resourceful. You trust others and want them to trust you. The most promising path to Atlantis, therefore, is the one we both must take together as a team. All right, I'm convinced. You can come along. Then let's go, partner. Don't get any funny ideas. I'll be running the show. You make it sound so romantic. <laughs> <laughs>